Hi guys, Mr. Numobile here. Please subscribe followed by the bell. You can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. Samsung had first unveiled its lifelike artificial humans called Neon earlier this year during CES 2020. Since then, the company has showcased several use cases, including in the banking, news, and retail sectors. Now, the company is hinting that we might get to see Neon on smartphones really soon. Pranav Mistry, the CEO and president of Star Labs, has mentioned on Twitter that he is currently using Neon on his smartphone. He also said that the company is testing its artificial humans on smartphones right now, and others can see it before Christmas. So, Samsung may showcase Neon on Galaxy smartphones sometime in December 2020. There is no clear indication from Samsung if Neons would one day come pre-installed on Galaxy devices and if they would be available on devices from other brands. Neons are powered by Star Labs Core R3 and Spectra Technologies. Spectra offers emotions, intelligence, learning, and memory to Core already. Neons feature AI-generated virtual avatars that are indistinguishable from human beings, and each one of them has his or her own unique personality. Samsung's website mentions that the artificial humans can be customized as per the client's requirement. They can be used as a service representative, financial advisor, concierge, healthcare provider, or just as a virtual friend. Then a question from Ice Universe, the popular Samsung leaker asking if Neon can be used on phones, prompted the CEO to reveal that it is already available on his phone in testing and should be available before Christmas. Neon View is the version of the virtual assistant coming to mobile devices. The assistant will be able to learn skills and form memories, and unlike current AI assistants, this one has a face and will be able to converse and show emotions like a human. Neon can be programmed to do a variety of things. According to details on the official website, Neon can be a teacher, a yoga instructor, a narrator, a reporter and so much more. Early this year with Pranav Mistry said that the virtual assistant won't be a replacement to Bixby or any other AI assist phones, either even Star Labs the business is funded by Samsung. It is not very clear how Neon will work on devices, but more details should surface when we see it make its appearance on mobile before the end of the year. Right now, not much. Neon is in its early startup phase, generating buzz and interest, as well as possible use cases when the technology matures. At CES, Neon's acted mostly in a chatbot capacity, as an AI engine with a face that you can speak to, but about far more than the weather or how long it will take to drive to the mall. Some possible scenarios include being a language tutor, concierge, personal financial advisor, receptionist, virtual counselor or healthcare provider, actor, TV anchor, or spokesperson. Another way the company says Neons are different from Amazon's Alexa, Siri, and the rest is that Neons are not programmed to remain passive in the face of indignity. If you're mean or nasty to a Neon, you run the risk of upsetting it or even making the AI angry at you. Presumably, if you're pleasant and polite, please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one piece out.